19. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. I speak unto thee this day, and I say when men will refuse to be ruled by me, then I say they are ruled by lies. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light. And when men are refusing my rule, I say they are taking the rule of demons, the rule of lies. And I say that they will be brought low in the same because they have rejected me. And I say that they will be given deceit instead of truth because they are choosing the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never call men to be ruled by lies, to be ruled by demons. But I say that I call them to be ruled by me. But I say when men in their pride will reject my rule, I say they open themselves up to every foul thing to bear rule over them. Now I say you are living in a time when many have rejected my rule, the nations have rejected my rule, and what do they gain from the same? I say they will gain the rule of cruelty, oppression, and darkness because they have rejected me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving a call throughout the earth for all men everywhere to repent. And I say when men will truly repent, then I say they will desire to be ruled by me. For I say when a man will see the iniquity that he's capable of, that he has been guilty of before me, and thoroughly amend and change his ways, then I say that he will desire to be ruled by me. But I say as long as men are trusting in themselves, trusting in their own iniquitous ways, in their lack of understanding, in the darkness and evil that they are in, they are trusting in lies. And I say when any is trusting in lies, then I say they are counted liars before me. Now I I say this day that I, the living God, am wearied with men. I am wearied with their antics, their ploys, their plots against me. And I say all the while they imagine they are so wise that they do their evil deeds in secret. It is not true. For I say it is me, the living God, who sees the evil, the iniquity that men and women are involved in. And I say they damn themselves in the ways they choose against me. For I say they are choosing the futility, they are choosing the despair, they are choosing the emptiness of their own way. Now I say that I, the living God, never called men to go in their own way, for the same is destruction. But I say that I've called men to be uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I've called men to be thankful that they can indeed walk soberly each day in me. That they can indeed be brought forth in the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called men to end in the keep of ruination that they are in, but I say they put themselves there. For I say when men are rejecting to be ruled by me, I say they are rejecting life. And I say they are choosing instead the way of death, the way of demons, the way of lies. And I say in their choosing they are losing, for they are so far from me. I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to be far from me, but I say that I've called you to walk in me. That is, to be thankful that through me, so are you given the life, the truth, and the mercy revealed. For I say, when you will be accepting of my way, then yes, you are guided in my light day after day. But I say, when you reject my way, then I say you are accepting lies. And I say, in lies you will find nothing except the deceit that will damn you and take you in a way that will prove to be far from me. I say this day when you look upon the dumbness, the stupidity, the pride of men, and all the while they imagine within themselves they are so clever it is not true. For I say when they are stubbornly proudly rejecting my rule over them, they are refusing to humble themselves. That is, they are refusing to bow down low to be subject to me and be brought forth in my way. And I say they are choosing instead the way of fools, the way of destruction and damnation of their souls. I say this day that I, the living God, never intended that men and women would be destroyed, would be damned. But I say they are the ones who are choosing such a course. And I say it is because of their stubborn, proud defiance of me and refusal to be ruled by me. I say when you see the ones who are so selective in their choices and in choosing against me, what do they do? I say they choose the very course of despair that will damn them and end them in hell forever. 
Now I say this day you can hear the howls, the moans of those who have separated themselves from sound counsel, and oh how they cry over the same. That is, they seek for anyone to be siding with them that they will not be so alone. But I say that the truth of it is the isolation, the separation that they are in is because they reject to be ruled by me. And I say they choose instead to be ruled by demons that will simply destroy them and cause them to be damned forever. Now I say when you see how men imagine they are so clever, yet they end in hell, how can they be clever in such a course? For I say that any dumb fool can end in hell by his choices against me. And I say when you see the nations that have abandoned my way to take up the heathen way, the pagan way, where do they end through it all? I say that their rebellion will end them in captivity, slavery, and heaps of despair and destruction on every hand. So I say for all of their cleverness, for all of their crafty invention, I say they are the ones who lose out through it all. I say this day that I have been God never intended that men would choose to be separated from me, but I say that I've intended that men would walk uprightly in me day after day. That is, ever thankful to be uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I've intended that the ones who are mine would serve me each day in gratitude. That is, may glad for the privilege they've received to be walking in me. For I say, when you truly will humble yourself each day, you will see your utter need to be ruled by me. And I say, you will not be as the foolish who throw off sound counsel to go in the way of fools. But I say that you will be accepting of truth and light and mercy and hope day after day and I say that you will be guided forth by me now I say this day when you see the stubborn the proud the defiant who are determined in the drunkenness of pride that they are always right no they are wrong for I say they are refusing the way of humility the way of being ruled by me and I say they are choosing instead the rule of demons over their lives. And I say that those demons will drive them and drive them and drive them in such a way that they will have no connection unto me. And I say they will lend their ear to demon spirits again and again and again. Where do they end? I say they end in the loneliness, the isolation, the despair of their own way. But I say that the dumb thing is the way they assume to be their own is not really their way at all. But I say it is the way that demons have presented unto them and they have chosen the same. And I say in their proud imaginations they think that the way of demons is superior to my way. And I say they are fools who are indeed damned by their choices against me. I say this day that I the living God never intended that my people would stray to such a degree that they become my enemies instead of my friends. But I say that I've intended that my people would keep their hearts with diligence ever true and faithful unto me. That is, ever thankful to be uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. Ever thankful to be given the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. Now I say this day, be glad for the privilege that I've given unto thee to walk uprightly. Be thankful for the way that I guide you day after day. For I say that my way is spotless, it is pure, it is undefiled. And I say when any will walk in my way, then yes, they are kept in me. And I say they are given the strength, the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. Therefore I say this day, be glad that you do not need to be found amongst the foolish, amongst the wicked, the vile, the corrupt, to have chosen their own way. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be ruled by demon forces and end in hell from the same. But I say, if you pay heed to me and love and cherish me, then yes, you are ruled by me. And you will see that the rule that I give thee is mercy, truth, and life. And I say that you will indeed be in gratitude because it is me that you serve. I say this day that I will have been God to see the condition of humankind, what it is that they do to themselves. I say that I see their wretchedness, I see their misery, their darkness, when they choose to live in opposition to me. That is, when they reject my righteous rule to take up the perverse, the wicked, cruel rule of demon spirits, I say they take up the way of death. And I say that way is treacherous, it is full of pain and agony and suffering because they will not obey me. But I say when any man or woman will truly be subject to me, then I say they are ruled by life. 
And I say that that life is abundant. I say it is resplendent. And I say it is full of the glory of my presence given unto them. And I say that they can rejoice each day because it is me that they serve. I say this day do not live in the fear of wicked doers, but I say live in confidence in me. And know that it is me, the living God, who is the one who guides, directs, instructs, and brings you forth. And know that it is me, the living God, who will give to you the abundance of mercy, the truth, the light, and the strength that I provide. I say thank me and praise me even this day for the privilege to be directed, corrected, and ever guided by me. And I say be thankful that you are indeed given great privilege when you are ruled by me. That is, when you are indeed ruled by mercy and truth and light upon the path. I say when you are indeed ruled by me that you live. That is, you live in the newness of life, the realm of life eternal that I provide. And I say you are able to differentiate between the precious and the vile because you are choosing to be ruled by me. And I say you will see the hypocritical pretenders exposed in their hypocrisy, their pretension and lies. For time and again, while they make great profession that they are ruled by me, it is not true. For I say when they refuse to bend the knee to me, when they refuse to humble themselves, when they refuse to cry out, I say they are ruled by rulers of darkness. And I say the same darkness that rules over them is what they become. I say this day that I don't think God do not call you to dwell with hypocrites. I do not call you to be in companionship with fools. But I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you are ruled, directed, and guided by me. That is, that you are given the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. That you are indeed brought forth rejoicing because it is me, the living God, who does bear rule over thee. I say this day do not harbor accusation or hatred in your heart for my rule, but I say instead be thankful unto me, that you can indeed be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in my way, that you can indeed be given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. For I say when any will choose to be ruled by me, then they abide in my way. But I say to the ones who refuse to humble themselves in repentance, I say that my wrath is revealed upon them. For I say when men reject rule by me, they are choosing wrath. And I say they are choosing the way of lies, deceit, and animosity towards me. And I say they find no peace but only torment because they have chosen the way of the agonies of the damned. That is, by rejecting my rule, my mercy, my life that I offer I tell you them. that everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slaughter them before me. And when you say these things, 